And welcome to She Shays with your host, Jill. Yep, I'm Jill. So today's going to be a mishmash of things in this uh, video. And it's going to be a combination of um, shave mail opening. It's going to be a combination of upcoming things that I'm going to be doing in my videos. It's going to deal with the uh, random act of... Uh, gifting to my uh, last recipient if he responds and accepts it and uh, just some hacks that I have in here for you guys. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with uh, two of the vendors. Now I do not have any sponsors. So any the majority of things that I receive I pay for out of my own social security money. Um, I have had some uh, Vendors, uh, uh, West Coast Shaving sent me a couple of soaps and I reviewed them for them. And um, uh, Doug and Fran over at PAA sent me that uh, great ascension on a pass around to review and they, they were happy with it. So they sent me my own. So that was really special for me. Um, I've had people on uh, the forum. I love Badger and Blade forum because I learned so much from them, uh, from people there and they're very helpful. Um, it's, and I won a, when I was a newbie, I won a, a, a newbie pith, uh, uh, prize from them. And, um, I got screwed on a razor before that I bought off of eBay and, um, <clears throat> 12 fret from Badger and Blade sent me, um, uh, some really nice stuff. So, but short of, oh, and Trevi, he sent me, of course, that focus, uh, dynamic. Um, but for the most part, everything I have, I buy. I wish I could get some sponsors. So let's, without further ado, let's start. This one is going to be from Phoenix Shaving. Right there. So let's open that up. Now I know what is in these boxes. So, and I used these today <laughs> instead of my manicure scissors. So there won't be any frantic opening of packages. Remember, Jill, cut away from yourself. We don't need any mishaps, right? All right, let's pop in here. Oh. All right. And, of course, we've got cheers. Thank you for your order, Isabel. Isabel usually is the one that's packaging everything I get from, from them. And then, of course, you have the Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement business card. And my invoice. Let me toss that aside. And some wonderful paper. Throw that away. Okay, what we have in here is, the first thing is a soap. And it is gondolier. Now I'm not going to go into details on the scents and anything of anything that I'm going to be showing today. I'm just showing you what I received. I will take a sniff, <clears throat> and I'm not going to be one of those that goes, "Oh, that's lovely," but I can't pick out what scents are in it. You know, it's like, what kind of a review is that? Do your research, use it, try to pick them out. But it does smell good. I'm not going to go into, uh, it's an old world scent, they call it. And the other thing in the box is two packages of Persona gem blades. Now, I have recently started collecting gem razors. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that. So these are the stainless steel aluminum back PTFE coated. So I've got two packets of, of five in there. And I already have a different kind um, of gem that I've been using. And it's uh, that gem persona in my uh, 
uh, been using those in my gem razors. So that's a different style of razor. Okay, let's toss that box. And let's go to the next one. And this is going to be... Oh, uh, I love their tape. You can always know what's, what's in your box. So that's a little West Coast shaving that we're going to open up. So, how's your week been going? Good, I hope. I'm still trying to fully recuperate from this severe sinus infection and bronchitis. And every time I start feeling better, I start feeling crappy. Okay, we got the invoice. Oh, more paper. More paper. But the piece de resistance inside is a Sterling Island Man. I think they're sold out of this right now. Uh, but I've been wanting to try this one forever and ever. So, duh, I ordered it. Let me take a sniff of this. And then it's a tallow and lanolin. Oh, I love the color of that. I can almost hear a Calypso band playing. Oh, mm, oh my God. Oh my God, that smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to use that in upcoming videos. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, get rid of the box. Oh, okay. So that's those two things. What am I going to do next? Okay, let me show you some of the stuff that I've already received that won't be an unboxing. Um, I finally got around to ordering a Fine American Blend. I love the fine soaps. They're the same formula as Tabak. They're a triple milled soap, and I finally got around to getting this American Blend barbershop type scent. So I'll be using that um, in upcoming videos. And I saw a video on this particular one, La Pere Lucienne uh, Cedar and Patchouli. And this is uh, just a refill puck, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the refill puck. I'm not going to go into details about this soap right now. I will when I use it but it looks and sounds like a marvelous product. So um, I had ordered that and I'll be using it. Um, and remind me to, to tell you the, the hack that I have involved with that. Okay, all right. I got two more packages to open. Um, which one do I wanna do first? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do this one first because it comes in line with, uh, okay, it comes in line with upcoming videos I'm going to be doing. And I'm kind of, ex oh, no, that's not the right one. Put that down and get this one. Okay. Let's open this up. And this is something I purchased from uh, eBay from a Peggy Chico out of Sarasota, Florida. And I'm excited to open this one see what condition it's in and get ready to clean it up because I always do that with new razors that I receive. I'm kind of anal about that. I really clean them up. The guys on Badger and Blade say I really know how to clean up a razor. All right, so this one is pretty damn special. This is my newest part of my collection for uh, gem razors. And this is 1939, I think. So it's 10 years older than me and I'm 69 years old. So this is a 79 year old razor. And it comes in a Bakelite gem case. I love Bakelite, it's so sturdy. This thing has lasted all those years and it's gonna last me and <laughs> I mean, I'll be dead before this thing would ever wear out. So anyway, let me open this up and see what condition it's in. Okay, so, oh, that's nice. He put this on top um, to protect the razor. That's cool, it's a, a wadding of paper. That's very nice. So that was put inside the, the hood. And inside this is also a new blade holder. 
and there's even a blade in here. I don't, it looks a little rusty. I don't think I'll be using that, but it's pretty cool that there's an original razor blade from that era. It's like, holy moly. But, oh, this doesn't look like it's gonna need much cleaning at all. This is my first Micromatic. This is my first Micromatic gem. And it's twist to open on the bottom as opposed to the flip tops of a gem. And I will tell you, this is in mint condition. Can you believe that? 79 year old razor looking that good. There is no rust on this. I mean, I'm not gonna hardly have to do anything on this razor. And it is a open comb. So I would imagine it's going to be much more, hey, why isn't it closing? Okay, I imagine it's going to be um, a lot more aggressive uh, than my other gem razors. So this is a new one that I can't wait to try too. So that means I have four that I'll be reviewing and using on videos. I do have a bid on another one and um, it's a bullet uh, bullet point. I think it's called a bullet point uh, that uh, I have a bid on that ends tonight. So maybe I'll win the bid on that. We'll see. I'll tell you one thing, gem razors, um, there's not as much information, obviously, uh, compared to the charts and stuff for the Gillettes with their date codes and whatever. So the majority of the um, history on them has to come from ads and people that do some deep research on it. And again, I'll mention 12 fret from uh, Badger and Blade. He's like a, he's like a guru over there um, as far as helping people out determine uh, what, uh, what razor they have and you know, that sort of thing. So thank you to 12 fret over there. So let's see here. I am going to, let me put that razor back in its case. Very little cleanup on this will be needed. I am so excited. I love that gem, I mean, that Bakelite case. I mean, it, it's just in wonderful condition. Just needs a little shine up. Okay, let's see. I have two things. Let me do, let me do some hacks. So I mentioned this um, La Pere, uh, Lucienne uh, Cedar and Patchouli. And it's a, um, a refill puck. I like to buy refill pucks uh, occasionally and put them in, a, in other containers. Um, so, and what's great is uh, he's provided the label that I can put on the container. I'm not gonna open this up right now, but it comes in a brown uh, little wrapper, nice size bar. Let me show you the hack that I'm gonna be using for this and, and other soaps. Um, I go to the grocery store and I look for containers that I can use for soap and whatever. This one's kind of neat. It's, um, I think it's used for like, um, you put the dip and then you can put, you know, vegetables on the bottom. But this top screws off like that. And then down below that is a little shelf and it fits right in there. So I am going to take this soap and probably um, shave it, you know, and, and press fit it into the thing. I think it'll probably fit because uh, there's that much space there for when I uh, shave it down with a grater and put that in there. And then you just put, uh, then you just put that top back on and it screws on. But what I think is pretty neat about this configuration is that I can probably use that bottom part as a lathering bowl too. I could take a soap and, you know, press fit it in there too, but I think I'm gonna use it in this, in this fashion where I shave it down on the top and use this as a shaving bowl. So that's a little hack for you. And it's from uh, Rubbermaid. I like finding these little little things there. Okay, and the second hack I'm gonna tell you about. Now that Bakelite um, in the case that I have, and I do this with um, 
any uh, my vintage razors or it, all my razors actually that, that have a case that I can put them in. You know these little silica packets, these little charcoal packets you get in medicine, you know, in aspirin and you know, all these things that say don't eat it. Take one of these and put them in the case with your razor. It will keep it dry. So this is a very good hack. I'm telling you, it really works. You know, of course, you're going to dry your razor off very thoroughly when you put it in a, in a case. But when you put it in a case, I mean, these are free. They come in medicines and aspirin and whatever. And you can put that in the case to keep your razors dry so they do not rust on you. So that's another hack for you. How about that? You gotta get up pretty late in the afternoon to fool this kid. All right, I think, whoops. Oh. Okay, and last but not least is going to be, um, I received the, the, um, the prize that I bought for a random gift of giving for the winner who's not contacting me yet, and it came in the mail today. So it was a little off the wall. It wasn't shaving product that I purchased for this viewer, but watch my last video and you'll know what I'm talking about. So I got this from a company called breezy.com, who I purchased things from. And a nice sturdy box. There's the invoice. There's a Happy Holidays brochure with warnings and all kinds of stuff in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Look what they have on top. <laughs> a little pair of breezy sunglasses. <laughs> That's a, I got a kick out of that. And then they got the colored confetti in there. <laughs> I love it. I'll, I'll be sending that to the winner, too. I won't steal the glasses. <laughs> mm, okay. I'm going to get confetti all over the floor. Now, well, I guess there's no two ways about it. So, this is the item that is going to be given away to uh, the winner of Random Acts of Kindness. There are ways that we can support other people in the shaving community, and it doesn't have to be uh, shave-related. This particular person has uh, either started or thought about starting vaping electronic cigarettes to get them off the uh, stinkies, and I purchased this for him. And it's a CB80 uh, uh, Wismac, and it's a nice little device. It's all inclusive. It has a built-in battery that you just charge by USB. Watch my last video. You'll see the specs and everything I talked about. So I'm waiting for that viewer to contact me to see whether he's accepting this gift or not. So I think that about covers it. Um, yeah, that was all four boxes. I will be doing reviews on those gem razor. Now let me ask you guys something. Do you like series um, videos? Do you think it's 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 best for me to review each one of my gem uh, razors, or do you get bored with seeing the same razor, you know, for a whole series? Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I want to hear back from you guys. Because I want to keep it interesting for you. Um, or sh should I mix it up and do every other one with a gem? Should I do a full series? I know sometimes I watch a series of uh, just one soap maker. And sometimes it gets boring to me when they do a whole month of one, you know, soap maker. I don't know. It, it, that, that, that's just me. I like to see a, see a mix up. But... Um, anyway, let me know what your feelings are on that. Should I do the whole series of the, the new gem razors I have? Uh, maybe turn you on to, to the gem razors or turn you off to the gem razors. It'll be an honest review. You know me. I don't pull any punches. I tell it straight up. If it's shit, it's shit. If it's great, it's great. I don't have any sponsors that are, you know, blowing stuff up my ass and, you know, having me review and tell them that it's wonderful, wonderful. I tell it straight up. So anyway, I am going to say goodbye. There's very little cleaning I have to do on that beautiful new razor I got, but I'm going to go do it anyway because, like I said, I'm anal and I like to sanitize and clean everything up. The little case can use a little buffing and, and whatever. So I'm going to be making a video tonight, I think. I think I'm going to be making a video tonight. 
and I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Thank you for all your subscriptions, your support, and um, I just adore you guys. I really do. You guys have have accepted me uh, in the in the uh, shaving community as a female wet shaver. So anyway, I want to cut it short. Say goodbye, and I'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Love you.